Dr. Jeff Andrews, develop statistical methodologies for finding meaningful groups within data. I asked him what projects he's presently working on. Right now I'm interested in trying to find sort of the minimum amount of information that we need inside a data set to differentiate between uh, meaningful groups in that data set. As an example, um, we could think about surveying, you know, several thousand people and asking things like what's your age, what's your height, how many hours a day are you watching Netflix or TV, how many pets do you own, and age. You could look at that information and say, well, what if I'm interested in home ownership? It, does this person own a home or do, are they renting? Some of those questions are going to be useful to distinguish between that group of home ownership or, or non-home ownership. Age and salary would probably be pretty good indicators, as well as number of pets, oddly enough, since renters can't have pets a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Whereas height probably is not going to predict for you whether or not somebody owns a home. Mathematically and statistically, I want to look at that type of problem and determine in any particular data set what is best differentiating amongst these groups in the data. If we're surveying, it's pretty clear what we're going to get from that. So we kind of know and I can discuss it. But for harder problems such as patient data, trying to distinguish between how you might be affected by a particular drug versus how someone else might be affected. Well, people probably do fall into groups as to how they're affected by these drugs. Mm. And if we can distinguish that, that would be a very good thing in terms of medical research. So you're creating the tool that will help differentiate between those requirements. I'm developing the tools that can be used to sort of dive into the data and find these important measures that we should use.